Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. My name is Jodie Lakin and today I am going to be doing a little flip through for you of my completed Burtonville journals. I did a course with the very lovely and very talented James Burke Creative. He does a few different courses, they're about two weeks long and they are virtual. So you can join on a live stream and join in on the lessons and it's really fun. I really, really enjoy it. And this was the first course I'd done with James and it was called Virtual Voyage 2 and it was a trip to Burtonville. So we were looking at the art of Tim Burton, which if you know me at all from any of my other my other YouTube channel, then you will know that I really love Tim Burton. <laughs> so this was a lot of fun for me. So I don't want to talk too much about the lessons themselves because I wouldn't want to ruin the course for anybody else that wants to do it. But if you're looking at this and you sort of are interested, then the courses are still available. You just won't have the live element to the course, uh, to this one in particular. But we're doing another course right now, Virtual Voyage 3. So I thought it'd be a good time to share my work from Virtual Voyage 2. And just a little, you know, FYI, this course was back in October and it has taken me up until now to actually complete it. So there, there is so much content to sort of absorb and do what you like with. And I really enjoyed... I enjoyed doing it at the time but I also really enjoyed catching up on the lessons and having the time to like I came back after work and I'd have a little I'd have a little drawing to do I'd have some inspiration there already for me and I really enjoyed exploring this kind of style it was very comfortable for me because I don't think it is too far from what I would naturally want to draw like um, I remember when I was a child I used to I say a child, maybe a teenager, I would try to draw like Tim Burton or even that just is what felt natural to me to sort of draw more scribbly drawings. I remember I would always draw with a ballpoint pen, <laughs> nothing else, like I would always draw with a ballpoint pen. So going back to this style was really comfortable for me and I felt happy to be able to get a little bit of that sort of... Um, innocent style back I'm sorry did you just hear the train <laughs> the train just went past my house I, I love some of the pieces that I did in this book especially this one I'm showing right now the Valentine's Day one I just love how full the pages look and how complete they look as a piece as well and I think too it's important to note that not every picture in this like completed journal I'm like happy with um I've definitely explored different styles and I think that's okay too um like the picture I'm showing now I'm not so keen on the corpse bride ones I just couldn't really get it I couldn't really get it in my style what I wanted exactly so I think that's okay to kind of not be happy with the completed picture because then you've still learned something from it and you've still, still gained something from it that you maybe don't like that style um, and that's okay too because it just made me think okay well I'm not so keen on that so I can do this other style next time. These two pieces I showed on my channel and what I like about them is that even though they are inspired by Tim Burton you really wouldn't be able to tell necessarily like you might say oh it might be inspired by Tim Burton but it's not exactly his style um, so that's kind of what I mean when I say like you take elements away from the lessons that you have and then you can put them in your own style this one I don't like <laughs> this one I hate as you can see I put a big x across the screen with my hands I don't like that monsters on the shelf one I just it, I just couldn't get it to work for me but you know that's okay too if something doesn't work out for you then you can always collage over it after or do something else um, but I thought I'd leave it alone for now because I just hated it that much <laughs> yeah I think it was the colors I used to be honest but never mind you live and learn um, this is the smaller journal where at first I used it to sort of jot down any ideas I had um, and sort of any uh, pre-sketches, is that, that's not what you call it, like tests <laughs> like for my final piece drawing. So this is what I'm showing you now, how, how it actually turned out to my sort of um, tests of 
of the character. The character is not a character, it's me. <laughs> so I did a few more for the family portrait and then I also did the Ikebana lesson, which I really enjoyed. But I went on to YouTube and I decided to do a little bit of a sketch flicks of the Ikebana flowers. So that's what that page is. And I really recommend that. It was actually really relaxing. This page is, again, just more of the practicing for what I wanted to do for Corpse Bride. Originally, they were just sketches, but I decided to add a bit of paint on there, and I do prefer them. This page, I absolutely love. We've got the um, the little trick-or-treaters, and this was so much fun to do, and just really, like, loose and fun style. Um, it just makes you feel really free with your artwork, and then when you have a piece at the end that you are happy with and you completed... It kind of feels even better because you put very minimal effort into it, just a little squiggle and a little bit of watercolour and it looks good. This one was done on the Halloween party and I loved this. I really didn't think I would like it. I'm not keen on the whole half face thing, but I did actually really enjoy it. Again, it gave me a little bit of freedom with the watercolour and I liked the way it turned out. Um, these little creatures were sort sort of from the timber and inspiration the loose style the big eyes the eyelashes that kind of thing long arms but as you can see they are very different style they're quite cutesy and colorful and i think that's where my style uh, really does change from um the sort of dark creepy side of timber and <laughs> which i love too by the way but i definitely like a more cutesy look to my my pictures and i'm just showing you how i even used some of these characters in my little um, Valentine's zine there that I did the other last week actually and then here we have like my own little version of Jack and Sally really cutesy and I really like those two and then we have Lydia and Beetlejuice and yeah I really love that Jack and Sally on the left and then very very last thing I did was my 24 hour journal I did this from the 11th to the 12th of February and as you can see, I did it a very different style again, just really bright colors. And I think that's just because so much time has passed since this course actually started, which was in October. So in October, I was feeling all, you know, um, Halloween-y. <laughs> and then we get, to, we get to here and I'm feeling more brightly colored now that the, um, the snow is melting. You can probably hear it actually melting off the roof. <laughs> Can't wait for the cherry blossom. On this page, I did a little test of the watercolours. So I did a little test watercolour tree, <laughs> swatch tree. Um, and I wanted to do all the watercolours on there. I really wasn't sure how it would turn out, but I do like it. But maybe not with the page next to it. I don't think it goes that well, but that's fine. And then we did a little lunchtime page. And then I did my Dungeons and... What is it? Drag Dungeons and Dragons character <laughs> i made a character for dungeons and dragons this is her her name is hebe <laughs> but i wanted to paint her because that was the day that i made her and then i did off to dreamland which is really cute so yeah that is both of my completed journals for virtual voyage 2 but i have three coming up <laughs> so i really enjoyed it it's so much fun i'll leave all the information down below for james's courses and yeah i love it i highly recommend it and yeah thanks to james and steve for such a wonderful course that they put together i will see you guys next sunday with a new video and thank you so much to everyone that subscribed and liked my video and yeah i'll see you next sunday with a new video take care everybody bye